Civnex. Welcome to day three of social isolation. Uh, I'm glad you're here for a little bit of um, electronic learning. Uh, we are here in my office. You got to see Mrs. Murphy's yesterday. This one's mine. This is a bridge on the Ice Age Trail in the Hat Hatley section. Um, and this is where I like to hang out when I can't come to school and hang out with you guys. So for our little video meeting today, I thought what I would do is teach you a little bit about the woods. Uh, so with the help of Todd and Luna, I'm gonna teach you how to identify the difference between a birch tree and a poplar tree. All right, so we're looking at the top of these trees. See how nice and white they are? You might think that they are birch, but guess what? They're not. These are actually um, popple trees, otherwise known as big tooth aspen. And let me show you how you can tell the difference. Although they're white, if you look really close, they kind of have a tingy yellowish look to them. And if you look at their bark, there's no peeling bark. See that? Nothing to peel off. Okay, so this right here, this is an actual birch. This you can tell is a birch because of how pure white it is, but mostly the big telltale sign is, see this peely stuff? Only birches do that. You can tell this is a white birch, and over here we have a yellow birch. See the peely? That tells us it's a birch, and if you can see how yellow it looks, it shows you that it is a yellow birch. Here's a great example of trees trying to trick us. Got this tree on the left here, right? This one right here, and this tree on the right. Can you tell what they are? This one looks a little bit like a popple, doesn't it? And this one's white like a birch. However, if you look closely, look at the bark on this one. This is definitely, I can't find my finger. This is a yellow birch. You can tell by the peeling bark. This bright white one over here, let's follow it all the way down to the ground and see what happens to its bark. Keep watching it, keep watching it. Can you see it in there? It gets really dark. And if you look really closely, you can see that there is no peeling bark here. It looks white like a birch, but that is just a tricky popple. As long as we're talking about the bark on a birch tree, let's talk about one more thing. See this picture? That black spot that you see there is a spot where this tree has been girdled. What that means is someone came along and they peeled the bark off of the tree all the way around it. When that happens, it kills the tree. What uh, the birch tree does is it uses the bark to deliver the nutrients from the roots. Remember how we learned about what happens in the root cells through osmosis? Um, all of those nutrients get sucked up through the roots and the tree uses the bark to deliver the nutrients and the water to the upper part of the tree. When you girdle a tree like this, the nutrients are no longer able to make it to the top part of the tree and the tree will die. So if you get out into the woods, Look for birch trees, look for popple trees, but whatever you do, don't girdle any. You'll kill them. This right here, this is called dogwood. Another tree identification for you. Oh, there's Todd. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> I've got a very interesting one for you. Do you know what this kind of tree is? It's a dead one. Okay, so here's another tree I just had to share with you. Can you tell what kind of tree it is? Ah, see the peel and bark? It is a birch. It's a white birch. But here's what's really cool about this white birch. Check out its base. Isn't that cool? So you know why that happens? What happened is, a long time ago, there was a stump here. And the birch seed landed on the stump and grew. They call them nursery stumps. Luna would like to check it out. Luna, do you approve? Okay, can you move? Because I'm trying to teach the kids something. <laughs> Good girl. So the, the um, nursery stump provides nutrients for this birch tree as it was growing. As it grew, the birch roots, <laughs> Luna is helpful. Um, the birch roots uh, encircled the stump. And then over time, the stump rotted away, leaving this hole here. You can even see parts of the stump still in here. Isn't that cool? So when you're walking through the woods and you see things like this, now you know what, how that happened. 
All right, there's your lesson for the day and your video check-in. We miss you all, hope you're doing okay. Please keep in touch with us. Remember, you can email us all at any time. Sign up for an advisory slot and we'll make sure that we touch base with you. Um, be safe, be well, keep learning.